Hello everyone and welcome back, it's good to see you. We've arrived here in Glencoe, this magnificent place in Scotland, one of my favourite places, uh, but we haven't really come to paint Glencoe, we're on a trip heading further north. We're going via Malaig, which is wonderful, there's some wonderful landscapes around Malaig, and then we're heading over to Skye, uh, which is uh, an, an amazing place to go to. The weather looks okay, up and down, so hopefully we'll get a few paintings done. So here we are coming into Fort William now. It's a lovely place. Every time I come into Fort William, I, I, I enjoy it and uh, there's something wonderful about it. And we often uh, think, well, maybe we could move here. And it's, it seems such a nice place. But one of its great advantages is that it's, it's really close to everything. Sky isn't very far away. Sutherland isn't too far away. You're really in the middle of the highlands and that's great. We've arrived at this lovely beach here, uh, just south of Malay by a few miles. Um, really nice. We've, we've driven up from Glencoe and the weather was rainy, sun, well, never sunny, but it was, it was, it was all right. It, wasn't, it, it could be better, but there's a beautiful road all around this little peninsula here. And we've come to this spot, which is lovely, a beautiful beach. We've arrived at this beautiful spot and it really is amazing. I love this spot and we've, we've arrived in perfect timing. The, the sun has come out and it's been horrible all day today, a lot of rain. So we feel very lucky to be here during the sun. And this is the scene I'm going to be doing a uh, picture of. And it's of this, uh, a bridge, but there's two bridges now. It's based on a picture that I saw quite a while ago uh, of, of this exact scene, which has made me interested in coming here. And the picture that, that I saw was only one of the bridges. The front bridge is a modern road bridge and there's a bridge behind, I don't know if you can see it, right in the arches and that's an old railway bridge. It must have been built in the 19th century or so and, and it's really beautiful. So, but the new bridge is covering it up now and what I'm going to try and do is a sketch of that bridge and then take it home to the studio to do a painting 
without the front bridge, without that new road bridge. So it'll start off with a sketch. I'll take some photographs and take reference material and then go back to the studio and do a painting of it. I thought I'd show you a little bit of my drawing process. And uh, it, this is a seven by five piece of paper, you know, just normal cartridge paper. And what I, what I first start doing is, is I, I draw a box inside here like that. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a box within a box. And what that does, that helps me with the composition. So I'm trying to make this the size of my painting inside. So if I go, if I, if I make a mistake, I've got a little bit of space of paper all around it to go into. So it's just like a backstop for me more than anything else. So here's the, here's the picture. So working out the sort of composition of it. So I'm going to put the bridge, the bridge sort of just off center. So here. Not, it's not a particularly big bridge. You can't really see it much from this angle. What I did earlier is I, I went um, much closer to the, where, where the pillars of the, the new road bridge are and I took some video and some shots of it so I could see the top of it. So when I get back to the studio, I've got something to work from. Okay, we do that as, as the basic bridge. Might be a bit too big in scale at the moment. And then there. So I'm just trying to draw, don't want to, I, like all my things, I don't really want to focus on any one thing for too long. I want to keep it everywhere. So we've got the mountain above. We've got an interesting, very recognisable peak up there. This hill coming in here. Interesting peak. Drawing is a very important part of uh, art. And if you, if you can work at it a bit, you'll, you'll really reap dividends from it. So there's the big mountain above it. Looking majestic. We've got the rocks coming in. The front of the water comes that way. It sort of flows there, then flows back down again. And then we have a bit of land here coming in. I'm very pleased that the tide has come in because it does improve the composition a lot. And it really comes in fast here. Some big hills coming up here, a little lump of a hill in the foreground. House. And the water stretches over. See, this is, this is why I use this thing. So now I'm, I'm stretching it out outside it, but it just gave me an idea of, of scale. Beach coming in, lots of trees, I just vaguely indicate. And there's a house on the left here, which I quite like the size, the look of. I always love Scottish buildings, or Scottish houses. They, the whiteness of them is so, so picturesque. So a little. I think that, that gives it a, that wonderful sense of beauty that uh, a Scottish house has. And then the water comes in here, part of the beach. And then you have this lovely rock in the bottom right coming in. A few bit of seaweed on the bottom left just to make it interesting. A couple of little rocks there. Always trying to make things, you've got to fill the corners with things. That's, that's part of the beauty of composition really. You have to, you have to find a way of filling the picture. Uh, so I think I mentioned before, one, one of the wonderful things about the Pre-Raphaelites is that they had this idea of making every, every square inch of the painting interesting. And I find that a really, really, really fascinating idea that Everything is interesting. Now, I'm going to draw a line here. So that's my real composition now. That's the real composition of it. So, yeah, that's... We can make that a bit less big. Go. Another 
hail coming in here. What it really needs is a boat somewhere, but there is no boat at the moment. There's a little boat in the distance, moored up, so that's maybe about there. Put that in. It's moored up on the bank. Now let's get a little bit of solidity on, on the bridge, as that's the main subject. So it's sort of invisible bridge to me at the moment. These little trees coming up, which are nice. Silver birch. There's a pole coming out of this of the, of the rocks as well, which I'll put in because I quite like it. That's the pole there. Little sign in it. It gives, it gives a bit of life to it. Okay. Okay, so there's my composition. I've added a little boat here. I'm just imagining a little, little boat and who knows, maybe it might need a little boat here as well. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that one when, when, when uh, back at the studio. So I think it's a nice composition. You can see the bridge here. Uh, that's a really pretty thing and um, it, it, it's taken it away. Unfortunately, that, the new road bridge really did uh, sort of ruin the viewpoint, I think, <laughs> largely. <laughs> it had to be done, the bridge, but it, it, isn't, it, isn't, uh, it isn't beautiful, really. So there we go. We've left the bridge to find a parking space for the night. In front of us is egg and rum. Um, egg is on the left. Uh, they're a beautiful colour at this time of night. It's almost like a mauve colour, really lovely. So we'll head around the side here, uh, along the sea front, and there are some really beautiful beaches along this coastline, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I want to come back here for a more of a protracted stay. There are some quite nice campsites where you can stay here, so that'll be a good opportunity to have a base to stay at. So here's, here's roughly where we're going to park, and uh, it's, a really, it's a really scenic spot, incredibly exposed, the wind is ferocious tonight and we're hoping that we're not going to get blown away, but it's so beautiful. Uh, the, this, this area of Scotland, I think, is one of the most beautiful areas in Scotland. Um, the, the beaches, the blue seas, the big skies, absolutely stunning. We woke up early to drive the short distance to Malay to catch the ferry to Egg. We're on the ferry to Egg now. Uh, we left Malay and it's a lovely day, so we're really happy to be on board. It's only a short trip, about an hour and a half, but it's, it's quite, a, quite, there's a bit of a swell, so it's a bit, it's rocking, but not rolling, so it's not too bad. Uh, we, we're gonna head to, uh, to Egg and we're gonna do a, a, a sketch today. We can only be on the island about two hours, so there's no time to do an oil uh, watercolor painting. So it's just a quick, a quick trip over and back again, hopefully a sketch or two, and then back to the studio for those paintings. So 
So here's a commemorative stone, quite an important stone really. It, it represents the purchasing of the island by the whole community in 1997. So it was very important. It gave them freedom to run the island as they wanted to. It's very slippery, don't hurt yourself. We had a wonderful walk along the cliff top, so really spectacular views overlooking the sea and the crashing waves. We've come down here to this very interesting cave, slightly spooky cave, known as the Massacre Caves. And there's a good reason why it's known that way. In 1577, the MacDonald clan lived on this island, and they were quite in fear of the MacLeod clan, who lived just across the water. And one day the MacLeod clan came across the water with devilish intent and the MacDonald clan hid in this cave here. It took the MacLeod clan about three days to find them. And when they did find them, they, they tried, to get, tried to get them out. So they decided to burn them out and smoke them out, but they, they wouldn't come out. And eventually, uh, they suffocated the entire clan and almost 400 uh, of the clan died right here. There was only one survivor on the island, and that was an old lady who decided not to come here and she stayed in the house and they never found her and she survived it, but it really was an awful event. But I thought it'd be interesting to come here and have a look at it and get this sort of atmosphere of and see what it was like. I found this really interesting place overlooking the main town. I don't know, it's the harbour really. Uh, just around the corner, the rocks in the front look really nice. I like the big sort of uh, almost castellation of those rocks. So the, you can imagine the turrets coming up there. And uh, the sea's coming in, and a few buildings around which are quite nice as well. The day's a little bit muggy, but there's from time to time there are some sort of light patches coming through. So I'm going to try and uh, incorporate those into the painting as well uh, when I get back home. So uh, that, that's going to be interesting. So I'll get on with it now. There's the little picture all done now, and uh, I've taken some photographs as well. And it is an interesting scene. I love the, the, the sea, this is the sea coming in, the cliffs and the rocks there, and the little house, white house that's going to be here as well. Looking into the harbour here, quite a high horizon of the water. So yeah, I look forward to doing that one. Right, so that's all a bit of a rush, that one. I can see the ferry in the distance coming to pick us up. We're only allowed to have two hours on the island, and then the ferry comes back and we takes us back to Malay, so that was really quick and now we're going to have to dash back to the harbour to try and get the ferry. I hope you enjoyed the first couple of days of our trip uh, and especially our little adventure to the Isle of Egg. It was a wonderful place. Next week we'll be heading off to Skye, going across the water by ferry, where we hope to pick up our painting adventures and hopefully the weather's going to be okay, but you never know, it is Scotland. <laughs>